بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد The question says how can a student of an, uh, of an online madrasa uh, serve his sheikh the madrasa in the madhab uh, I think uh, the question is about this madrasa uh, this madhab our hanbali madhab um, service is a great honor shiuch do not um, are not supposed to require it or are not supposed to to command their students to uh, to behave in a in this manner that the they serve uh, them in the first place but service is a great honor and uh, we ask everyone to serve the, the madhab not the madrasa, not the mashaykh, the madhab it's a great honor to serve the mashaykh and the madrasa but the madhab in the first place or oh, this is the ultimate purpose in other words uh, when it comes to how how can a student of an online madrasa first of all you have to understand that this is a great privilege and it, it is a blessing if you want to see it as a blessing however if you take it for granted it becomes yani, a very bad sign that you, the way you receive ilm is a virtual way and you uh, you do not have proper mashaykh with whom you meet and, uh, and and from whom you learn directly without any medium you have to consider these ideas when you are thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessing of having the uh, the means to follow the rules wherever you are from any place in the world yes and to follow the rules that are being given in any place in the world uh, this is a huge privilege especially when you consider the quality of what is being given uh, to you and by this I mean the mashaykh who teach al -ilm properly according to the protocols you'll find some of these they are fewer than others but but you'll find them everywhere not in this madrasa but everywhere I believe <coughs> every country that has a lot of Muslims uh, probably uh, has one at least one person who teaches the ilm uh, properly or who is trying to teach the ilm properly um, uh, this is something that you uh, you should be grateful uh, for this is the first step of serving the madrasa serving the madhab serving the shaykh this is a, this is the greatest service you can offer a shaykh also you have to remember the importance of making dua for all of uh, for all of the scholars, the scholars who taught you, their scholars, and 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 all the chain of scholars that you are connected or you are supposed to be connected uh, with. So this is another great service that you can offer, and uh, most importantly, uh, in my opinion, to understand um, that you have to learn. So, so the, the the question of this uh, sheikh, the question of this student. It's very important question because now he's seeking knowledge, the knowledge of what what are the protocols, what are the things that I need to do in order to be of of some benefit, in order to benefit the Shaykh, the, the Madrasa and the Madhab. You have to follow the protocols, you have to learn Al Adab. It has to come before anything else. You have to sit and learn Al Adab. For instance, not for instance actually I I'm I'm trying to promote this I'm not promoting anything else that we are doing um, but I recommend that people join all installments of the Tazkirat al-Sama wal Mutakallam fi Adab al-Alam al it's a great book and I think everyone has to join this whether you are a student or not in the madrasa please join it if you have not covered this topic with your sheikh or in this book or, f or f in a similar book then you have to join this course because it's essential I cannot stress how important uh, it is I cannot stress it enough and I think people um, disregard it and they think of other things as more important and I disagree with uh, with these people I think uh, this is like a prerequisite we, re we this is something that we require for everything we cannot disregard it and this is probably the studying something like this especially the manners of the student is the thing that will allow you to be 
uh, to know how to serve uh, the Shaykh, the Madrasa and the Madhab. Another question uh, says, uh, what is bid'ah according to the Madhab? How to determine misguided, uh, reprehensible bid'ah according to the Madhab? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, before asking questions, think about them. What is the other type of bid'ah if not reprehensible and misguided? What is the other type? What is the alternative? Please think about your question before writing it. The more you say, the higher the chances that you make a mistake. That's why concise questions are the best. Yes? According to the Madhab, the Bid'a is something that has been created or innovated in religion, not in something that is associated with the religion, not in a in something that is related to Al Islam or to religion, in religion itself, in in worships, in something that can be called religion, and it does not have any asl, it does not have any background in religion. Yes? This is the meaning of Al Bidah according to the Hanbali Madan and it's a very simple thing. And this is not the topic that you um yeah, this topic cannot be discussed in in a, in a more advanced manner this is uh, something that happens only among the wahhabi uh, even 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 the the theory of uh, shatibi is not something that we celebrate it's not something that anyone actually celebrates very few hanabila would actually uh, um, pay attention to the work of shatibi um, so you cannot really uh, you cannot really have a detailed discussion on uh, on al bidah it's very simple but when it comes to application we might discuss uh, al bidah in uh, in a detailed way anyway uh, you have to understand that uh, in the hanbali madhab uh, something that uh, that that is categorized as bidah can be disliked and can be haram so there are two possibilities that it's haram or that it is this like the idea of innovating something in religion is definitely haram and if someone is aware of what he or she is doing it's not only haram it's worse than that that you feel that there is a need to add something to religion it's much worse than that in the Hanbali mother but from a fiqhi perspective al bidah itself yani the, sh the thing that has been innovated when people practice such a thing it can be either haram or or dislike this is the fiqhi ruling from a fiqhi perspective so this is and you have to understand that it is a word with a negative connotation you cannot yani say misguided reprehensible uh, or something like this it's meaningless you're just feeling um, it's just empty empty words that, that you are using here um, yes I think this is enough and um, um, I will continue answering your questions inshallah if you are a student and uh, you are on the madrasa uh, group or uh, which is the group of the madrasa alhamdulillah on telegram please consider adding your questions to the um, sometimes I leave these posts and, and I allow people to comment uh, with their questions or whatever uh, topics they want us to discuss إن شاء الله والله تعالى أعلى وأعلم وصلي لهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين